Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk to you guys about one of the most important issues that we see in a lot of players. And that issue is that their rhythm when they're going up to the ball and trying to hit it is simply not correct. Now, in order to make it easy for you guys to understand what exactly has to happen, we divided the whole thing in just three parts. Okay, so we're not going to talk about how to move to the ball, but these three parts are all about what you have to do in order to start swinging. So those three parts are, number one, you got to set up your feet. Number two, you have to find your balance. And number three, you start swinging. Now the key point here is that all three of those things happen in that exact order that I just mentioned or else things won't work out very well. So if you're trying to set up your feet, then find your balance, meaning you're not wobbling around anymore, and then you swing, you will have the most amount of control over your shot that you could possibly get. Doesn't mean that every ball is going to go right where you're aiming, but it does mean that you have the best chances at hitting your targets. Now, if we're messing up the order a little bit, let's say, for example, we try to balance first and then we take that last step, well, we lost balance again. Okay, so we have to make sure that the balancing part happens after we set up for our shot. Now, it's also super important, if you do forget one of these things, for example, you take your last step but you're not really balanced and you already hit, you're probably going to miss your target as well. But the problem is, if you lose balance at any point during your shot, your movement will not be stable and you will have inconsistencies in your contact point. You could get lucky and still hit your target, but the chances on average to hit your target are getting much, much slimmer. If you're forgetting to take that last step even, you're still moving while you're hitting, and this is really what the most important issue is all about, most people, uh, they start to, they don't stop to move before they start hitting, because they're not happy with their perfect positioning yet. They feel like, if I take another step, I can get a little bit of a better position. Problem about that is, that because you're still moving, it doesn't matter if you got in a better position or not, you're not set up, you're not balanced, so you're not gonna swing very well. So you have to make sure that you find your last step, that you do balance, and then you hit, no matter what. If you try to do this, you will see how much easier it becomes to suddenly stay calm. You will preserve a lot more energy and your shots will turn out better, even if you now sacrifice a little bit of that positioning that we just talked about. Okay? So if you're trying to take that last step and now you tell yourself, okay, I took my last step, I you know, could have done better, I could have set up a little bit better, uh, but I, I just... I stop, I give up on, on getting into a better position. You will hit the ball better even if your contact point is now not exactly where you want it to be, but you're balanced. Then if you're trying to, you know, somehow fix it last second, you're still moving while you hit, and now you mess up your shot because you're still moving. So it's always better to have this reference point for when you stop moving, no matter if you're in the perfect position yet or not. Everybody misjudges the ball, Everybody has issues seeing exactly where they have to move, including the pros. That's why not all of their contact points are exactly in the same spot. Sometimes they have to hit the ball higher or lower or further away from their body because they simply don't have enough time or they slightly misjudge the ball. And that's all right. Okay, just acknowledge the fact that you're not perfect. You're not going to get in the perfect position. So it's much more important to set up properly, find your balance and then swing than to try to somehow save the positioning last second and still be moving while you're trying to hit your shots. Here we have a couple of examples of Kata losing her balance and not setting up properly. And then after that you'll see how it's supposed to look if she sets up her feet first, then balances, and then starts the hitting process. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.